Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 6 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of Season 8 you could put challenges as your party assist so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is a stage challenge and the first stage out of five is, land at lucky landing and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 xp if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of five for the first challenge is, land at loot lake and is worth 1 battle star or 100 xp. The third stage out of five for the first challenge is, land at shifty shafts and is worth 1 battle star or 100 xp. The fourth stage out of five for the first challenge is, land at frosty flights and is worth 1 battle star or 100 xp. The final stage for the first challenge is, land at haunted hills and is worth 1 battle star or 100 xp. The second challenge is, deal damage with SMGs to opponents and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 3 is, search chests at a hotspot and is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of 3 for the third challenge is, search ammo boxes at a hotspot and is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP. The final stage for the third challenge is, get an elimination at a hotspot and is worth 4 battle stars or 400 xp. The next 4 challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, deal damage to a vehicle driven by an opponent and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 xp if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, Use a storm flip in different matches and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, use different vehicles in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, eliminate opponents in the block or fatal fields and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 5 is, land at lucky landing and if you land there you can get 1 battle stars or 100 xp. The second stage out of 5 for the first challenge is, land at loot lake and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 xp. The third stage out of 5 for the first challenge is, Land at Shifty Shafts and if you land there you can get 1 Battle Star or 100 XP. The fourth stage out of 5 for the first challenge is, land at Frosty Flights and if you land there you can get 1 Battle Star or 100 XP. The final stage for the first challenge is, land at Haunted Hills and if you land there you can get 1 Battle Star or 100 XP. Simply just wait until the battle bus passes over the closeted area to the location you need and jump out and land at the location you need. The second challenge is, deal damage with SMGs to opponents and if you deal 500 damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following. Common, Uncommon, and Rare Burst SMG. Team Rumple is quite easy to get this as all you need to do if find an SMG and you are more than likely going to hit someone. The third challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, search chests at a hotspot and if you search three chests you can get three battle stars or 300 XP. A hotspot is a location with a gold name that has all the loot carriers fly around. Simply just explore the area until you find a chest and open it.
The second stage out of three for the third challenge is, search ammo boxes at a hotspot and if you search three ammo boxes you can get three battle stars or 300 XP. Just like the last challenge just explore the hotspot until you come across an ammo box and open it when you do. The final stage for the third challenge is, get an elimination at a hotspot and if you get one elimination you can get four battle stars or 400 XP. There is most likely going to be a player at the hotspot so just collect weapons until you see one and try to kill them. The fourth challenge is, deal damage to a vehicle driven by an opponent and if you deal 200 damage to a vehicle you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. You need to obviously wait until you come across a player in a vehicle which is quite rare. When you hear someone try to hide so they don't get off and shoot at the vehicle when you see them. If challenges work in this game mode, you could go into arena mode as lots of players use the baller in that game mode so it might be more likely to come across a vehicle in this game mode. The fifth challenge is, use a storm flip in different matches and if you do this in three different matches you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. You should play Team Rumble as there are lots of supply drops in that game mode and storm flips do come out of supply drops. The sixth challenge is, use different vehicles in a single match and if you use two vehicles you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You could go to the racetrack east of Junk Junction. There are drift boards there and quad crashers right next to hit so you can get on the drift board and immediately get on a quad crasher. The final challenge for week 6 is, eliminate opponents in the block or fatal fields is and if you get 3 eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. Not a lot of people go to the block unless it is the first location of the battle bus. So fatal fields is most likely going to have a player there so you should land there. And that is all the challenges for week 6. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, Thanks for watching. Bye.